Two games, two wins, both in dominant fashion. The men's and women's wrestlers began their 2017 the way they'd hoped, and it can be attributed to a quick, energetic start from the opening tip-off. That's the game plan, especially uh, out the gate for second half. Um, practice have been real competitive, uh, especially getting a couple guys back in a new addition. Um, that's why you want to be aggressive. Honestly, our guys are really hungry. We're like, we had seven guys first semester, and all of us were injured and everything, and we're just looking for the win, and just really hungry, excited to play and everything. We usually get back in the gym a little quicker than other teams. Obviously, this year, we stayed in the gym longer with the Cuba trip, um, and, and you could tell Kings hasn't had that many practices under their belt. They were more sloppy than us. I just think we were itching to get back on the floor, so that definitely helped a little bit of our energy tonight, and uh, having such a short bench, I'm glad that we kept it up throughout the entire game. And the bench is the biggest difference between the two teams. The men's unit has nearly fully recovered from injuries, while the loss of two players has severely depleted the women's bench. It means the way both teams approach the change is quite different and requires a change in strategy. We have a, a pretty full squad, and uh, I'm happy to be at full strength, but at the same time, uh, we have to get that cohesiveness and uh, see how we are against uh, some of the top teams on our side. I feel like it's going gonna, it's gonna to do a lot for our team. Our bench is pretty much our starters right now, so I feel like it's going to help our team really in the, in the long run. It's, it's better to have 10 to 12 guys out there than playing with uh, six, which we did for most of the first half there towards the end. It allows us to play more aggressive because fouls don't uh, matter as much. Um, definitely just playing smart, no fouls. If we foul on defense, it's really going to kill us at, in the end since we don't have much of us players to add in. So I think if we play good defense, we'll be good. The way we're looking at it is March 1st, we need to be ready for playoffs. So we have two months to get in shape and hopefully uh, we can do that within practice in the games. And our games are practice for championships really is what we're looking at. It could be said that getting to a women's championship requires a full bench. But more than that, it requires buy-in, production and effort. A difficult task considering the amount of players being thrust into new roles. If you look today, Angela, freshman point guard, I thought she played phenomenal as a freshman stepping into a starting role. She hasn't started a game yet. Um, and I thought Meg did a good job at point, and Nike must have had 100 rebounds tonight. Nike was all over the place. So the girls are embracing their roles. Well, it's awesome anytime you get to play on the court because, I mean, that's what everyone's working towards. So that was, a, that was a great experience right there. But just as a team, we all have to step up with the changes on our team right now, so everybody has to contribute. I would, I would say the effort level is through the roof. I think everyone's on the same page. And they're excited about the new roles. As a player, if the coach comes to you and says you're going from four minutes to 15, you're going to be happy and you're going to work your butt off. And, and if they keep working their butt off, they'll keep getting out there in games and have more chances to succeed. It was really a very similar game for both Lakeland squads. They came out with an aggressiveness and energy the Kings just couldn't match. After the women's game, Chris King made a point of saying a lot of these girls have something to prove. Considering injuries and new players, a statement really holds true for both these teams. And for the women, they allowed the fewest points, setting a new school record, allowing just 26. And that is a great way to start 2017. Lance Phillips, New Cap Sports, Lloydminster.